Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video so today I'm going to show you how to write product descriptions for your product pages. So product descriptions for me in the past have been like a love-hate relationship um, to be honest with you guys I'm not a very creative person I'm much more of a numbers person so whenever it comes to writing compelling product descriptions it's always been something I've struggled with and my mind just seems to hit a blank. That was until about a couple of months ago a friend of mine introduced me to this tool this app um, that generates the product descriptions for you and does it to really good accuracy I don't know how it works but it just simplifies the whole process and just makes it so much more easier so I thought I would do a video like this sharing it with you because if you've clicked on this video um, chances are you're probably in the same boat as I was so I generally think this tool can help out a lot of people um, don't worry I'm not affiliated with it they're not paying me to say this I generally think it's a useful tool to be aware of and definitely something that you should at least try out um, I think it comes with a free trial so definitely worth trying at least to see if it can help you. So in today's video I'm going to take you through a live example and show you exactly how it works for this particular product. This product itself I've sold in the UK for many seasons however I'm building the store out to focus on the US so today I thought I'd make a nice opportunity to show you exactly how it works. Before we jump into it um, if this is the first time watching one of your videos don't worry I don't usually wear this big headset. Um, I'm stuck at home right now and can't get into the office so I'm making do with kind of the equipment I have at home um, I made a goal for myself to upload a video every day for you guys so I'm sticking to that regardless um, of what I have to do or how I have to record my videos so that being said anyway thanks for tuning into the video I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new I hope this tool um, works as well for you as it has done for me and let's jump straight into it so here we are then in my Shopify backend for this particular store um, I've imported the products from CJ I've just named it CJ product example for sake of ease for this video um, CJ is where I typically like to source my products from now I've been using them for a few months now for the odd product and so far they've been really good um, so this is essentially what the product page looks like as it comes across by default if we click view to have a look at it on the store I'm not going to be focusing on the product images because that's a whole separate video of how you should go about sourcing those we have the title we have the variants as we can see they don't really make sense they haven't really been set up correctly we've got the default kind of payment options with Google Pay. I don't really sell much in the US to be honest, I'm not sure if Google Pay is a lot more popular over there, but certainly here in the UK um, it's not. It's typically Apple Pay or um, PayPal are the only two options I really have in my stores nowadays. Um, and then this is the default description. So what we can see is it's not particularly great, definitely needs improving. And in terms of enticing somebody to actually buy and commit to this product, it doesn't do a very good job. One thing I will say is I've seen a lot of people who will just import products across and keep the default description, run ads, and then for some reason not understand why they're not converting. This will be why. Do not underestimate the power of a good product description. It really can make a night and day difference and it really can be the difference between success and failure. So if we head back into a Shopify store, I've duplicated this product. So we have the duplicate of CJ product example. This is going to be the one I'm editing. And then at the end of the video, I can kind of show you a before and after so you can see the clear differences. So with that being said, let's jump into the product descriptions. And the tool is called app.garyai.com. Um, if we go back to the home page, actually, you'll be able to see all the other things it can help you with. Um, to be honest, I've only used it for product descriptions and Facebook ads. I haven't tried out any of these other ideas, so feel free to, to have a go at those. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be just um, focusing, sorry, on the product description. So go ahead and hit start. And then all we need to do is put in the product name and the product features. So this is the pool for pause anti-rip dog pool. And the product features, these were of course imported across from CJ. So we're just going to head back to our description, take a look. So firm and durable, suitable for large and medium dogs. So we can say it can be folded for convenient storage. Folded for convenient storage. And it put a comma in between each characteristic. We can say a strong anti-rip PVC composite. Strong anti-rip pvc composite obviously these product features you're putting in here obviously the benefits and the solutions you're offering to your customer you don't just want to put random things in here so people who buy this product 
you need to kind of focus on the pain points they will have had with previous pulls. Being a dog owner myself with quite a large dog, then I know what those pain points are. One of those pain points being the anti-rip. The amount of pulls we've bought for our dog to keep him cool during the summer and he'll just run, jump in it once, rip it, and it'll just be wasted in a matter of seconds. So they're the sort of things that you want to be putting into your product features to combat those pain points. So we ultimately offer the solution or identify and show the solution to your customer. Let's see then what what else do we have so thinking back in the past with pools that we've had it's always been a pain inflating them as well so we can definitely use that as a product feature so no inflation required um, emptying the pools is always annoying too thinking about it it's usually quite heavy however I know this product comes with a drain plug on the side so we can say self um, seeing drain plug and then I think we've got room for one more so let's just have a double check to make sure we haven't missed anything so it's anti-rip self-inflating self-emptying it's foldable for convenient storage and I think that covers everything so if I've missed one I can of course go back and regenerate it but for now I think four solid benefits and features so next up once you're happy with what you've inputted the name the features so on just simply go ahead hit generate and then it's going to generate a product description for us so the product description as we can see has been generated so i'm just going to select all copy this head back into shopify what i like to do is kind of enter this all the way down to the bottom and then paste it at top and then that way I can kind of chop in and out the different pieces that I want. So pool for paws are the perfect way to keep your dog cool during the summer months. So God knows how it kind of comes up with that. Simply fill with water and watch as your dog splashes around and enjoys a cooling dip in their own pool. So we can see the accuracy is, is just awesome. Um, makes really good sense. It kind of plays on those emotional triggers as well. So at the top, we obviously have the health concern. It keeps your dog cool during the summer months. Next up, we have the benefits of simply filling with water. No inflation requires. Um, and watch your dog splash around and enjoy a cooling dip in their own pool. So you obviously have that kind of enjoyment element as well. Perfect for dogs of all sizes. These pools are self-empty and have a strong anti-rip PVC composite, meaning you can be sure that you'll have many summers of fun with your dog. So it's almost like a human wrote this. Um, and honestly, this has been just a godsend, this tool. I know there's a few different ones out there. To be honest with you guys and upfront, I've not tried those out. I've stuck with this for the past couple of months because as you can see, the results just kind of speak for themselves. They're really, really good. Now we have our product description. We need to display this in a bit more visually appealing way. Just to leave it like this, in my opinion, won't be good enough. Um, we need to display it in a more friendly, visually appealing way. So when a customer comes on, they can digest the information as easily as possible. We're going to put some nice images in there, maybe a gift too, just to kind of really help sell the product. So I'm just going to take you through now what the typical layout will be for all of my product pages. Okay, so to take you through what I've done, at the top of the product page are the two most important things. These are the things that have to capture your visitors attention enough to get them to read on and ultimately make a purchase so at the top I have a statement a header this is going to be a pain pool a pain point sorry in which I'm solving for the customer so the anti-rip pool for paws is the perfect way to keep your dog cool during the summer months obviously warmer weather so I put a nice kind of emoji in there with the dog niche it's such a soft and kind of emotional and kind of enjoyable niche that the use of emojis works quite well. Next up, we have a GIF. Again, this isn't just a random GIF. This is a GIF which shows the solution to a potential pain point a customer has already had with a product like this. So we have a German Shepherd digging in the pool. I don't know what it is with German Shepherds, but mine does this as well. But as you can see, the pool is clearly standing up to this and it illustrates quite nicely that the pool won't rip and it can't be punctured. Now, if you're asking where I got these images and GIFs from, these are just from simply off Google but what I recommend is if you're in this for the long run actually buy the product yourself film the content yourself you can find actors on Fiverr um, or reach out to some small time influencers and get them to do some user generated content for you the more original your content is the more professional your business will look simply fill with water and watch as your dog splashes around and enjoys a cooling dip in their own pool so again this kind of 
um, ties in nicely with the gif, GIF above, sorry, as that's what that dog is essentially doing. Next up, we have another good image. It's not a dog that's been photoshopped inside the pool. It looks as if us as a business has invested and taken the time to actually do a shoot with a dog. I've also made sure that I haven't picked images with the same breed of dog, purely because when you want somebody to come on, if they see a picture of the product in use and it kind of hits home with them, so i.e. they have a dog which looks like this, they'll have a stronger connection to the products be much more likely to buy it perfect for dogs of all sizes these pools are self-emptying and have a strong anterior pvc composite meaning you can be sure you'll have many summers of fun with your four-legged friends i replaced dog with four-legged friends just to kind of lighten the tone and again doing this by using with the uses of emojis i've featured another image of another breed of dog in the pool again not a photoshop's chinese image it looks like a real image from a particular customer one thing i've really liked to do with my stores is whenever i get photos from customers is put a little banner like this or a little badge which basically highlights to visitors that this is a customer image somebody has bought this product they're happy with this product and have taken an image with this product and this will really help sell your products as well rather than do it in a cold way and say customer image i've put meet one of our customers bruce so it's almost like a play on words and makes out as if bruce has actually come onto our website and bought the product himself product specification just the four kind of key things about this particular product strong pvc composite with anti-rip guarantee i'm just kind of reinstilling those features and benefits behind the product self-draining and foldable for easy storage five different sizes to suit all breeds and two color variations there's not really a lot more to say about this product again just to lighten the tone because we are in the dog niche i've used dogs as kind of like the bullet points Next up, we have kind of like the trustworthiness of our site. People want to make sure they can trust us when they're going to be buying from us. I've put a trust badge in there. It was the first one I found on Google. There's apps on the Shopify app store, which will let you put these in for free. Why buy from us? Our five out of five promise to you. Lifetime anti-rip guarantee or your money back. 24 seven UK based customer service. Be specific with what these promises are. Address all the hesitations and questions your customer might have. So instead of just saying a customer service team it's 24 7 and it's based in the UK too which is where my customers are going to be pay safely with secured payment methods of stripe and PayPal let people know we offer PayPal in case they miss the button over 1,000 plus happy customers again social proof and then free worldwide tracked and insured shipping and that really is all there to it so I'm just going to hit save to make sure the changes do in fact take effect so let's compare the old product page versus the new product page immediately your attention is drawn to the right hand one because of the bigger bolder heading the emoji and more so because of the gif as well it's actually something moving which naturally will draw a person's attention their eyes to that particular section on the left it's kind of bland and boring just kind of bullet pointed and then as we move down on the one on the right we've got nice bright vibrant images which show real dogs using the actual pool itself if we compare this to the images on the original product page they're kind of a bit mismatched. They haven't really been edited. They're a bit dark. We can see that this one on the right here, which I'm highlighting, looks a bit dodgy. It looks as if that's been photoshopped in. It doesn't look like a real image at all. Moving down on the right, we can see this looks like a real person's garden playing with the hose, a dog in the pool, having fun. On the left, we have dogs in pools inside, which isn't kind of like a natural not habitat, I'm trying to think of the word, but it's not like a natural place your dog would use their pool. So again, on the right is certainly more relatable to our customers. On the left, we just have more images, dodgy images of dogs being photoshopped into pools. On the right, we have the product specification, which clearly lays out and easy to digest information what a customer gets from buying this product. We have the five out of five promise also, which again, just kind of reinstills how professional and how legitimate we are as a business. That being said, that covers the product page descriptions. And um, there's a couple of other things that I would add to the product page as a whole overall. Number one being a review app. This is a must. I think it's something like 63% of online consumers look for reviews in a product before committing to a purchase. So if you don't have reviews on your products, then you're definitely gonna be missing out on potential customers. And with that being said, then guys, that wraps up today's video. Apologies if the audio is of poor quality. I'm not using my usual setup at the moment, but hopefully you guys can still take something away from this video. If you did, please make
make sure you leave a like on this video so I know which ones you enjoy. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you subscribe as well. And then one final last thing before you go is if you're looking for a program which comes with all the content you could possibly need, comes with my own personal support and guidance, make sure you check out the Ecom Academy. It'll be the top link in the video description below. There's a callback service too, so you, me and you can hop on the phone one-to-one -one and just go through any questions or hesitations you might have about joining. Apart from that, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.